and how much rain is going to be coming over the course of the weekend and what that rain is going to do for our temperatures. Plus, I'll give you an update on the meteor shower and give you the best viewing time for tonight. Also tonight, an Indiana lawmaker says he is the victim of a shakedown after computer messages about a sexual rendezvous were revealed to our news gathering partners at the Indianapolis Star. Some of the content in the emails may not be appropriate for children. The night beat's David McAnally is at the State House tonight on the married state lawmaker accused of what an 18 year old says happened inside a hotel room. Dave? John, the conservative Republican lawmaker is a veteran of political controversy, but this one strikes home and family. It was not a setup at all. Cameron Gibson, the 18 year old at the center of the scandal, says he didn't know Phil Hinkle was a state rep when they met online. You met him on Craigslist. You said you were looking for a sugar daddy. Yes. Did you want a sexual relationship with someone? No. It was actually a joke. A joke, he says, between him and his sister with no cash for sex. But transcripts of their emails obtained by our partner, the Indianapolis Star, show the 18-year-old appearing to bargain with Hinkle over money, then Hinkle. A couple hours of your time tonight. Hinkle then allegedly offered a $60 tip. For a really good time. Then later, Hinkle. Looking forward to get together. We'll call you when leaving dinner and give you room number. You get downtown, I'll get you home. Deal? Cameron Gibson. Deal. Don't stand me up. Hinkle. I won't. What sounds like a cash for sex deal wasn't, says Gibson. I didn't want anything out of it because first when I saw him, he was, he was an older gentleman that was really old and I didn't want anything to do with that. But in the hotel room, the state rep exposed himself, he says. Later, when Gibson turned to leave... He was like, you're not leaving until we do what we plan to do. Gibson says Hinkle didn't want him to leave. He grabbed my arm and then grabbed my shirt, and then he went sexual with it by touching my butt. Gibson says going public's been rough, but he did it when he learned Representative Hinkle did things like create the In God We Trust license plate. I just wanted to tell the world because I found out that he was an anti-gayness, so he didn't like gay people, so why are you trying to get with somebody that's gay? He's talking about Hinkle's stand against same-sex marriage. We tried to reach Representative Hinkle for comment. Felt sorry for him. Hinkle's neighbor says Hinkle warned folks the scandal was coming. He says it's been a bad couple months for Hinkle. He lost his job, wife facing surgery. Pretty much told us the whole story and said he screwed up. He felt contrite about it, sorry about it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Very much so. The 18-year-old man denies he is in the uh, business of sex for cash. His family says that he is now being uh, approached by getting calls from national TV talk shows to sit down and tell his story. You can go to WTHR.com, and we will have additional sound bites uh, from the man at the center of this case. David McAnally, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Thank you, David. And Phil Hinkle is a Republican who represents Indiana's 92nd district, which includes parts of Wayne and Pike Townships in Marion County. He has been in the Indiana legislature since 2000, the year 2000. Before being elected to the legislature, he was an Indianapolis City County Council member from 1991 until 2000. Hinkle was also the Wayne Township Assessor between 1979 and 1990. Indiana Governor Mitch Daniels also addressed the allegations against the lawmaker today. It is not for me to say. It'd be between him and his constituents. It's, you know, it's just a personal and a family tragedy, and I'm sad about that. And the governor says it's up to Hinkle and his constituents to decide whether he should resign. Tonight, investigators are looking into the possible abduction of an 8-year-old boy by his non-custodial parent, Indianapolis.